Hello there. Well, so I was um, reading the prophet Jeremiah, as one does, first thing in the morning, just to brighten up your day, <laughs> as it were. Why? Because um, I was looking at the war situation in the Middle East and I see that uh, for example the Prime Minister has quoted the Bible and lots of people and so I, I just decided to to go and look at it have another look um, now this might be perhaps better addressed to younger people because it is likely or more likely that they haven't read the prophet Jeremiah the old the Old Testament it is not in the curriculum of uh, of schools anyway so uh, it's a higher likelihood that they might not have read it so you're going to excuse me for going some uh, over some of the things that he says now for those of you who have never heard of it, okay, it is possible that there are some people there who have not read the Old Testament, that's fine. But the old prophet Jeremiah was the one who was going around wagging his finger to the people, to the Jewish people, saying, You have done wrong. Whoops, rip <laughs> the microphone. <laughs> repent you have walked away from the Lord you have you're doing all these terrible things and um, you have to repent and go back to knowing the difference between right and wrong and oh he was he was wagging his finger at them and so uh, uh, this is one some of the things that he said uh, we have given our hand to Egypt Egypt and the Assyrians that he refers to all the time means the powerful um, you have forgotten your God and your morality and you have decided to get rich instead that is what he's saying okay so you have abandoned your ways and your morality and now you are with the rich uh, trying to imitate them and he uses very straightforward language though I mean he will say he's not beaten about the bush old Jeremiah okay he's just he'll just say you have prostituted yourselves and things like that okay so <laughs> yeah so he says, uh, talking for his people, he said, we, we have given our hand to Egypt, selling our soul, as it were, and to the Assyrians, that we might be satisfied with bread. And the joy of our heart is ceased. And our dancing now has turned into mourning. And he's praying. In his prayer he says, Convert us back, O Lord, to thee, and we shall be converted. Renew our days as from the beginning. Thou hast utterly rejected us. Thou art exceedingly angry against us. Then he says that what God, he's, he's speaking in the name of God, he says, Before I formed thee in the bowels of thy mother, I knew thee. For my people have done two things. They have forsaken me, the fountain of living water, and they have instead digged themselves, they dig to themselves cisterns, broken cisterns that can hold no water anymore. 
Thy own wickedness shall reprove thee, and thy apostasy shall rebuke thee. Know thou, and see that it is an evil and a better thing for thee to have, le to have left the Lord thy God of all time. Thou hast broken my yoke, my constraints, my right and wrong. Thou hast burst my bands, and thou said, I will not serve you. For on every high hill and under every green tree thou did prostitute thyself. And you said, this is God sort of talking to them. I ha uh, you have uh, speaking as the people I have loved strangers and I will walk after them instead of God you have all forsaken me said the Lord your sword has devoured your prophets your generation is like a ravaging lion my people have forgotten me days without number for a long time now why do you endeavor to show your way to be the good way to seek my love you have you have also taught your malice to be your ways And in your clothes is found the blood of the souls of the poor and the innocent. Not only in ditches have I found the poor, but in all places which I mentioned before. This is a very long uh, prophecy. And thou hast said, arrogance I am without sin and I am innocent and therefore let your anger be turned away from me Lord behold I will contend with you in judgment because you have said I have not sinned how exceedingly base have you become go in the same ways over and over again and you shall be ashamed of Egypt as you were of Assyria of the powerful to whom you have sold your soul it is commonly said if a man put away his wife and she go from him and marry another man Shall he return to her any more? Shall not that woman be polluted and defiled? But thou have prostituted yourself to many lovers. Nevertheless return to me, said the Lord, and I will receive thee. Hast thou seen what rebellious Israel has done? She had gone of herself upon every high mountain and under every green tree and has played the harlot there. And when she had done all these things, I said, Return to me. And she did not return. And her treacherous sister, Judah, saw that because the rebellious Israel had played the harlot and had put her away and given her a bill of divorce yet her treacherous sister Judah was not afraid but went and played the harlot also herself and by the facility of her fornication she defiled the land and played the harlot with stones and sticks and after all this, her treacherous sister Judah had not returned to me with her whole heart, 
but with falsehood, said the Lord. Okay, that is a taste for you young people. <laughs> if you haven't read the Old Testament, just to give you a taste of uh, what you might find there. That's it. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye.